Off goes the caravan. All the lads going for a ride. And another load. And for security we're going to have lights, an electric fence and night and day cameras, motion detect the cameras all over the place. So if anybody tries seeing what they can hock, the videos will be put in front of a judge and we will push for imprisonment. And then I'll check some mates out in jail to make sure they don't have a good time. I think that's fair enough for any arsehole that comes over here, tries putting their nose in where they got no business. And that's what we will do. So yeah, there is going to be Night and day vision cameras, motion detection cameras, all over the place and they'll all be hidden. So we check the cameras, they'll be linked to a computer. And anybody, anybody filmed, it will go to the lawyer. We won't bother going to the police because they'll likely just try and talk you out of it. But we do it through the lawyer. The lawyer will push through to the letter of the law and ensure that a judge decides what happens to the miscreant. <coughs> and we will push for jail. And like I said, I'll check some mates that are still in there chuck them a few bob, make sure they give the arsehole, arseholes, ha ha, and make them regret it, that's for sure. <coughs> and quite a few of these guys have their They've all got their firearms license. So we're all prepared for that sort of scenario. Yes, because it's now a mine site. And we're all 
rules and authorities that apply to a mine site now apply to this piece of land. So we're able to make a citizen's arrest if we catch anybody. <coughs> and of course if they resist and they get a bit bruised, oh gee whiz, they shouldn't have resisted. Because we won't cop it at all. Anybody who's not directly associated the mining crew. It is totally illegal for them to be on site unless they have been invited. Otherwise they're immediately trespassing.